well which will be covering what else the basics of Java development and that means the first class which is the cliche hello world of course I want to edit it so it had the same damn thing that every other tutorial has now if you're first starting out there's no use to grab one of those really complicated IDE platforms for Java it's just a little too complicated for what you're gonna be doing in the front now when I first started out I used a simple thing that everyone knows about, Notepad. And I used it for a long time, actually, for every project I did, eh, all the way up to some pretty advanced GUI stuff. So just keep in mind, Notepad isn't all bad. Now we're going to get started. First, we're going to make a new file called hello.java. Yes, yeah, so I want to change format. Now, I'm going to double click it, open it for editing, and here we are. Public class hello, because the name of the class has to match the Java file itself, and bracket which opens up the class public static void main string args. Bracket. Now, string args in this little portion right here stands for arguments within main that is a string. Now, you really don't have to understand this, you just have to know the meaning, basic meaning of it, and that it'll be in a, every single console app you do pretty much. And we'll get rid of that little box. And next we go system dot out dot print line hello. Now instead of doing the print line thing, you could always do just print hello and then that but I see no use in doing that right now so we're just gonna do print line hello like that then we're gonna close our me main method and close the class now we're gonna save control s exit make a new file and call it compile dot bat now with the batch file that we just made we're going to do at echo off which will take away displaying all the commands you're running and it just makes it look a whole lot cleaner title compiling once again you really don't need this but it makes it look a little bit more professional when you're using notepad compiling with batch files now we're going to do java java actually um, as it is or however you say it dot java and this will compile every Java file within the directory. Then we'll pause. So if you have any errors, you can see them within the console window. Save, exit. Now I'm going to run the compile.pat, put it in your little window, and hope this doesn't take too long. Since I'm running a lot of applications, it might take a little bit. And compiling. And we didn't have any errors and pressing key to continue and you have your little hello.class now make another file, another batch file actually called run.bat and we'll open it up in notepad and again echo off and now we're gonna, this time we're gonna do title hello uh, hello matches the name and then java hello I'm not going to see java as it is dot class because you could have literally loads of classes within that directory and you don't want them all going off at once and then we're going to pause so it doesn't zip through your program within a couple a second now run dot bat and you'll see that our program has run and with that you've made your first java application now, I guess I'll go into a little more advanced thing right now. Oh no, wait, I'll save that for the next tutorial, I guess. In introducing variables and how to use them in Java. That is my first tutorial on the basics of Java. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. <laughs>